Hello again, minions. Wheezy here with our weekly update. I'm going to talk about what you missed on the channel this week, as well as I think we're going to discuss a little bit of this leaked trailer that came out for the Warzone Season 3 update for Call of Duty. So let's go have a chat. All right, let's dive right into it. This week, since the last weekly update, in the last weekly update, I mentioned that there was a new episode of Wheezy's War College on the way. That went up the next day. So this past Saturday, episode, well, I guess it's not an episode. I'm going to do an episode. The module, my my first uh, lesson in the new uh, ep in the new Wheezy's War College series, Map Movement 101, is live. If you haven't seen it yet, dear God, go watch it. Here's a clip. So for keeping enemies in front of you, first, we're gonna stay aware of directions you are vulnerable from. We'll call these potential threat vectors because we wanna sound fancy and official, but also because that's a good, simple way to point out where danger is coming from. We're also gonna keep our weapon pointed in the direction of the greatest threat. This is an important part of not getting surprised. And finally, we are gonna make sure that we don't get flanked. A big part of map movement is making sure that we're not going to get surprised. If you want to do well in FPS games, one of the most foundational things that you can do is not end up in a position where you're in a natural disadvantage. So keeping enemies in front of you is a way of using your awareness and your movement through the map so that you don't manage to get yourself flanked or surprised. So when I say don't get flanked, what we're talking about is not putting yourself out in the open or in a position where enemies can come from multiple directions where you're not looking. All right, go check that out. It's a great video. It's full of knowledge and wisdom and nerdiness. Uh, and if you haven't seen the old Wheezy's War College videos that I posted like 10 years ago, go and watch them too. They've got good information in them. They're a little bit potato quality, but you know, it's 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 still good. I'm, I'm going to revisit all those topics and stuff like that. So, um, and newer and better, the next one that I'm working on is situational awareness. So um, I'm going to be working on writing up, uh, finalizing the script for that today, and then hopefully recording it and getting it produced over the next week or two. So yeah, after that, after Map Movement 101, I did a video on the Ray K84. So you may have seen my Ray Gun video last week. Um, I did a video on the Ray K focused on Outbreak, uh, how you can get it, how you can find it, Strengths, weaknesses, I went through the full upgrade tree. Uh, so here's a clip from that video. If this drops earlier, you know, obviously try and, and push the upgrades as fast as possible. Once you get to level four, level five, you really are gonna need the bigger upgrade. But there you can see that uh, Megaton from the golden chest, I melted him in just a few shots at pack punch level two, uh, and he'll split into his sub forms. But, um, so again, effective at level two, but the, you know, once you get to level four and higher, you're going to definitely want everything possible packed to level three. Here I start to get swarmed by Tempests and uh, I think a Mangler and yeah, and then the projectiles from the child form of the Megaton. And it's just, even with the Ray K, it's just not killing things fast enough to really be able to melt through this entire group of things. So I'm having to flee quite a bit and uh, pop my uh, stim shots. So, um... Yeah, the, the Ray K versus the, again, the, the Ray Gun, I still, if given the choice, and I realized, I, I found this out recently, when I had a gameplay where I was using the Ray Gun, uh, I took it all the way to level 7. Um, I did, in that game, get a Ray K to drop as well, and that's when I learned that you can't pick up both at the same time, which was, unless that was a... Go check that one out if you guys want to see more about the Ray K. Ray Gun's still better. But the Ray K is fun and cool. Uh, even Seb got to use it in one of the games that he and I were playing together. Um, so the next video I did uh, is about, it's a hybrid. It's about Call of Duty 2021, which is most likely going to be Call of Duty World War II Vanguard, a sequel to Sledgehammer Games Call of Duty World War II. So I posted a gameplay, actually it's two gameplays, of me playing Call of Duty World War II, a game which I never played when it was out. Um, it was a free game on the PlayStation Plus uh, at, a while ago, and so I added it to my library, but literally never played it. When I heard that it's pretty much, pretty much confirmed, almost, it's not official, that the next Call of Duty for 2021 is going to be World War II Vanguard. I figured I'll jump in there and play some multiplayer games. So uh, I talked about Call of Duty. I talked about the new game coming up. I talked about World War II uh, as a setting for video games. So 
Uh, if you're interested, here's a clip from that one. Um, so what I heard was essentially for 2021, because they had to pull, I think it was Raven Studios off to help Treyarch get Cold War out the door, um, and they were supposed to be getting their own game out this year. Uh, Activision essentially went to Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer and basically just said, whichever one of you can get a game out this year is going to get your game out this year. So it sounded like Sledgehammer was closer to getting theirs done, most likely because they started their development cycle after this World War II game ended. Um, and Infinity Ward obviously coming off of Call of Duty 2019, uh, the Modern Warfare, which I still believe is the best Call of Duty in the series. Uh, I still love that game to this day. Um, so in that sense, I'm really glad that they're letting Infinity Ward have you know, another year before that. And I'm excited because that does imply that 2022 will be a potentially a sequel to Modern Warfare since Modern Warfare is basically... So yeah, go check that one out for some some good Call of Duty talk and you can go and leave comments and stuff on that. On that. In general, you know, not, I ask for feedback on these videos, but on any of my videos that I post, they're a great place to discuss a topic. If I'm posting a video about something, go ahead and say hey and, and let's talk about it. Uh, so the uh, next video that I posted to my channel um, talking about games that were in PlayStation Plus, I posted a video, it's pretty quick, it's a quick one, uh, on how to save a bunch of money on your PlayStation Plus subscription. Uh, I have a website I've been using for a long time and it was time for me to use it again and I figured I might as well record it and share some savings with you guys. Um, it's not a sponsored video, but here's a little quick clip from that. Show you in the video, I've already redeemed this code so don't go and try and redeem it. It won't do you any good. Um, but inside of there, you can see I'm on Sebastian's profile. You can go up to redeem code, put in the code, and bingo bongo, you have just put in your one year subscription for PSN, uh, for PlayStation Plus, for less than $30, which is normally $60. Uh, this used to be- So go check that one out if you wanna save some money on your PlayStation Plus subscription, like literally 50%. I mean, if you're playing, paying for PlayStation Plus, dear God, do this. Uh, so there is one more video that didn't go to the main channel. I did upload a new episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla to the Storytime channel. Um, I'm st I, I was just like, you know what? I, I, I'll get back into it. I'll play, another, I'll play another episode of Valhalla. Valhalla just hasn't quite pulled me all the way back in, but every time I jump in there, I have more fun almost p making fun of the game as I'm playing it. So the live commentary uh, story time is, is, I think, still quite enjoyable. Um, so here's a clip from that. Uh, didn't we- we just you spoke! Me, Eivor. I know the words of such a gesture. All You're wrong, is, <laughs> like a dream. A dream where you fell off a cliff and well fought, were well a coward fought, and then I did all your work for you. And you're a puss. You came <laughs> well, old friend. Uh, I came you several times. Your wife is a whore. Oh, I'm so sorry. Look around you. <clears throat> Have the occasion and a glorious victory. Did someone just Something more glitch through the gate over there? A wedding, my love. Yeah, I just boned this dude a bunch. Is. What? Then why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. Yeah, and yeah, you. <laughs> and your hair's awful. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. We're out of focus. Focus, focus, puller, please. This is digital. Come There's then. no reason not to miss. We have focus. much to prepare for. <laughs> yeah, random screaming sound. Hey, hey well, woo, yeah, bro, woo, yeah, woo, yeah, countless men have died for them. Woo, and you, Vanir, yeah. are you jealous ha. of such things? So yeah, if you guys enjoy the story time videos uh, and you have missed previously, I have offloaded all of that stuff onto Wheezy Storytime, an entirely different YouTube channel. I got links for all this stuff down below. So go subscribe to that channel. If you like my story time stuff, uh, again, the idea was I don't want my main channel to start looking like a Let's Play channel. So whenever I go through and play single player games and stuff like that, that's where they're going to go. Um, but that is it for what I posted this week. So in addition to talking about Call of Duty 2021, apparently like, like the day I posted that or the next day, there was this big leak of a trailer, um, an unfinished trailer for season three of Cold War Warzone because I know... I know there's like six seasons of Modern Warfare, so it can be a little confusing. Um, but essentially, what's been revealed, or what is most likely going to be the case, is that um, 
the Warzone map, when it ends this season, instead of getting destroyed by the nuclear event and then getting replaced by an entirely new Treyarch map, which people were guessing was going to be essentially all the Dirty Bomb maps, even myself, I kind of thought that's what they would do, put that all together into a new Warzone map and just release that. It looks like what they're doing is reskinning the current Warzone map. The name of it just jumped out of my head. Val, Val Verderberg, because I've been talking about Valhalla. Anyway, basically just going to reskin it in the 1980s, which is probably what they were planning on doing on the launch of Cold War anyway. So the Warzone map is just going to go back in time. The same map, but like with obviously some significant changes. You know, the stadium is going to be, you know, in the early stages of its construction and stuff like that instead of being destroyed. Um, so could be interesting there. I also heard, although there's less talk about this, that Cold the Cold War maps, the Dirty Bomb maps, that kind of people were guessing might replace the Warzone map. There's a, there's a rumor that that's going to become its own kind of, whether it's Warzone or Battle Royale, like a Treyarch flavor battle royale so that might still be a thing um for those of you who have played the different played warzone and cold war and like cold war dirty bomb or in outbreak because it's ma maps in the multiplayer maps for treyarch game for the treyarch cold war game there's no doors like there are in modern warfare i just use this because it's the easiest example but in the outbreak and in the dirty bomb maps some of the buildings have doors that you can open and close which feels a lot more like modern warfare and warzone so it's kind of the same but you can tell they're not quite on the same engine the treyarch look and feel is different than the modern warfare look and feel that infinity ward did so there's a rumor that that might be another thing that maybe those will live side by side kind of as multiple options kind of like uh there's rebirth island so maybe there's going to be some variety in that way i don't know none of this is confirmed yet but i figured i'd bring it up weekly update i'd like to have something to talk about if you guys have thoughts about that reskinned uh warzone map is that good enough for you do you want the new cold war one do you not give a shit like are you just kind of over it um let me know what you guys think leave feedback about everything that we talked about here go find my other videos go leave feedback everywhere I, just got just talk to me guys just talk to me I'm so lovely. i love you guys i love you minions and i will see you next time